ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and bring in the next speaker on board. I would like to welcome Dr. Dasta on board. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a professor of computer science heading the research division of distributed systems at TU Wien, Austria. He is the founding co-editor-in-chief of ACM Transactions on the Internet of Things as well as editor-in-chief of Computing. Let's <coughs> go ahead and bring him on board. Welcome to my presentation. So this topic uh, is dear to my heart. It's about university disruption, the next level. And um, as we uh, encounter the, uh, the, the next level of how we're going to teach and do research uh, on the, in the universities, I think this is a very exciting area. And I'm very thankful for the organizers uh, of inviting me. So as you know, uh, education is uh, grossly under digitized with actually less than 4% of global expenditure on technologies. So here you can see some statistics actually that really just a, a, a very small amount is actually spent on digital, uh, making the courses digital, etc. And this is uh, increasingly a huge challenge uh, as we speak. <clears throat> So COVID-19 has, of course, changed uh, the behavior of faculty and students at the same time. And many universities, visionary universities, have actually invested a lot in this, what we call hybrid and flexible model of learning. And this is going to dominate, as we think, as we are arguing here in this presentation. So I think that uh, educational technology or edtech for short is actually game changing. So all of these aspects that come into play regarding proctoring, analytics, artificial intelligence uh, and uh, augmented and virtual reality become part of the teaching experience. Another trend that we see is that we have rise of online degrees and also career focused programs. And we have an increased outreach to unexplored audiences. And this brings with, with it basically a fundamental aspect of uh, the requirement to change how we address the whole area of ed tech. This is why we got together in, a, uh, in an organization which is called World Assessment Council. And um, World Assessment Council is really a, a composition of hundreds of uh, educators all over the world on all continents basically discussing, exploring how to actually create digital thought leadership across the world. And um, the organization is based headquartered in, in Boston in the US and based on what we have discussed over many, many iterations over some years, we have created a company called Edora. And basically all of these ideas from the educators, by the educators, have we have created a software platform called Edora, in which we actually create a platform allowing uh, these hybrid and flexible models that I was talking about initially. So it is really ed tech built by educators for educators. And here you can see a screenshot of who we are, uh, different people from different universities and schools across the globe putting together our thoughts, our experiences, hundreds of years combined, I would say, how we can improve the situation for uh, uh, lecturers, teachers, professors in universities and also in schools. So we actually combine this knowledge and put that together. It's a very uh, grassroots uh, development, so to speak. So the current ed tech for educators, as we see, is actually broken. In, real, in theory, basically, we have this idea that we have live classes, we have LMS, we have assignments, exams, grades, etc., and everything is smoothly integrated. But in practice, as we all know, there is a lot of manual work and disruption actually in the process of putting all these things together. And this is quite frustrating. And in these COVID years, we have now seen that it is becoming a fundamental problem. And we basically are addressing this. Adora is this platform which is about to be launched and tested with many universities already, has built a one dashboard approach for everything that we are talking about. So online classrooms where we can connect, we can do live quizzes, session recordings and more. We can do online courses which just look beautiful. 
Uh, they are not like ugly LMSs. We have online exams, quizzes, essays, audio, video, coding tests, and more. We can have online assignments, all sorts of different assignments, online annotation, collaborative reviewing, and more, and also online proctoring, which is AI powered for uh, auto proctoring. And this is uh, also one part which I'm talking about later, because of course this uh, examination process has to be supported. And this is one of the key elements of what is actually uh, what we contribute with Adora. Um, so the status of, F, uh, of today, actually, we have a soft launch in 10 countries next month, where we have nearly 100 universities using already this virtual examination center, which the World Assessment Council provides. We have now over 450 universities and more than 20,000 educators globally on the wait list of being uh, launched. Uh, and as I said before, this is funded by the uh, World Assessment Council enthusiast and uh, product, uh, the current revenues we have already. And we have, as we are educators all over the world, we actually uh, consolidated these uh, ideas from 10,000 educators and all of these experiences that we have shared and, and put that into a product and into a platform. And in the, in the next slides, I'm going to present to you some of the features that we have so that you can see if that is useful for you. So there are many signups already in different countries all over the world. So in India, US, China, Indonesia, etc. cetera, uh, also in the Middle East, in Europe. So it's pretty exciting for us to see the uptake of, of our platform. So it is built for all sorts of scenarios. So uh, what we have seen in, in the COVID times, it is actually really important to work seamlessly, even if you have low internet speed. And this is what we do. It works seamlessly across desktops, laptops, and mobiles. It is completely cloud, so there is no necessary uh, installation of additional software. And it uh, has compliance for online learning. It complies to global standards and also data security. This means that all courses are associated, will be hosted on secure cloud. Uh, the cloud servers shall be in the same country as the installation. All the content served on, on, on our servers is encrypted with passwords and etc. And we follow global compliances. For example, in Europe, the GDPR. Essentially, what you can do here with that platform is you can launch your own online university or school. So it is not just a LMS. You can launch your own online university and school. So because it's an all-in-one cloud-based learning management system for schools and universities. So everything that you need is in under one dashboard for online education. And I will show you what it is. Secondly, it is 100% customizable. So custom logo, color scheme, you can customize the terminology. You can use your own URL, custom CSS as well. And also connect it, of course, with your branded mobile apps and your own email server to connect with. <clears throat> and it supports all no modes of delivery for instructor-led learning, self-paced learning, hybrid learning, and bite-sized learning as well which is really important for nowadays because we have the, the university students and school students coming in from all sorts of different delivery modalities. So the students, as well as the faculty, they see everything in under one login. So the live classes, the learning experiences, as well as the exams. So you can create really beautiful experiences for your own courses, even with payment gateways, should you decide to include those payment gateways uh, as well. You can embed any kind of content and media, including Word files, PDFs, PowerPoints, audio, video, HTML, Google Docs, OneDrives, and many more. All of those can be integrated into the learning experience, as well as interactive and gamified content tools, such as uh, SCORM, H5P, Unity, etc. You can engage the learners through assignments, debates, projects, uh, practice exams, trivia, and bite-sized context uh, content, which is very important in the mobile world. So you can increase the learning experience by putting smaller bits of information for learning and actually include that into little trivias. 
It has awesome analytics for students and faculties and the admins, which is included. We uh, draw upon our own experience as university lecturers, teachers, etc., where we know exactly what we would like to have, and we have put that into the software platform. You can conduct online classrooms, uh, so there is no need for additional Zoom, Teams, what have you. You can have real life class feelings with ask uh, your teacher anything, uh, raise your hand, break, etc. You can easily schedule your online classes from the dashboard itself. It's integrated also into your calendar. So the same is true for the teachers, but also for the uh, students. It has uh, auto attendance and student participation details. So no extra effort needed to fill out different forms or Excel sheets or what have you, everything under one dashboard. You can have advanced notes taking cap capabilities during the sessions, which you can replay uh, and also replay the chats as we go along. You can have chats or ask me anything with the faculty. And all of that is of course also stored and can be replayed as you move along. You can have easy access to the recorded sessions for future revisions for the faculty members, but also for the student. You can have fun online classes with actually trivia. It's very nicely integrated into the platform where you can actually include questions, answers, and trivia, which increases the level of engagement uh, for the students. And of course, it's also more fun for faculty, right? You can include uh, adrenaline uh, rush uh, in online classes with some life score leaderboard. You can do quizzes and then basically see how many points you get, etc. That in increases the engagement of the students and is also more fun for faculty. Then you can conduct the exams anywhere, everywhere, in home, in campus, in examination centers. And all of the types of exams are actually on the one platform. So you can have objective exams, uh, submission exams, hands-on coding exams, live interview, Viver, simulation exams, subjective exams, audio video debates, assignments, and different contents, contests. And really the future-proof edtech for secure exams, because it's a robust platform, it, it is able to host over 100,000 exam sessions concurrently. It is powered by artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, NLP-powered advanced capabilities. We provide uh, advanced examination platforms from really Silicon Valley edtech enthusiasts, putting it all together. We have an end-to-end um, exam management where you can enroll the students and manage the access in bulk and then generate date-specific access controls and manage calendars and emails. You can get the tests and exams audited. So there is collaborative auditing uh, of an exam by your exam review team and online before actually rolling out. You can have PDF and Excel downloads where you can archive each student's combined report of all of the exam rounds, responses, and the reviewer comments as PDFs and also Excels. You can have ex excellent uh, analytics, so you can complete analytics on candidate demographics, uh, scores, and more key insights. You can create and upload the exams quickly. You can create all types of simple and highly advanced exams with intelligent settings and capabilities. You can randomize from larger question pools and then generate multiple sets of intelligently configured questions, papers automatically. You can review, uh, review answer scripts online so you can invite, assign, manage reviewers for collaboratively reviewing answer scripts online. So you don't need to have this red pen all the time. You can forget about that, carrying loads of these answer scripts around, and you can enjoy auto-evaluated exams uh, and online reviewing of the exams. You can also make essay type exams really easy to do. So the student can actually hold the piece of paper into the camera live, and automatically you can then uh, annotate it and, and, and use that as a PDF. So reports like uh, shown here, you can then uh, uh, review those uh, performance reports. 
You can add PDF case studies in an exam, which then can be used by the student. You can, uh, as I said, add fun to the online classes with some trivia, uh, which is really important. You can have audio video exams where the candidates can record audio video clips from their mobile tablet or the laptop. They can set intuitive intelligence questions, flow for real life cross questions. The faculty can share the feedback online so the students can actually improve. Uh, we can have live video Viva exams. Uh, that's actually quite useful if you're doing interviews. So you can do custom parameters for every round to evaluate the candidates. You can start a one-click video call with the candidates from the dashboard. You can record it, archive it, the interview with the con uh, conversation, including other exam reports. And now, uh, very new feature, it has AI-powered proctoring. We discovered that proctoring is a huge problem, and that was discovered during the uh, COVID times, uh, where we put a lot of emphasis on the AI-powered proctoring in, in Edora. How does it look like? So it provides a secure and zero breach for exams. So basically, lock and track, uh, it enables a full screen, but it disables copy-paste or shortcut keys. It prevents browser deviation notification or tracking violations are uh, stored. We do video proctoring. So this means that record candidate video to eliminate impersonation or malpractice. The AI detects additional faces, objects or sounds, eye movement, etc., and raises some red flags. The faculty then can act upon. We can do image rate. This trigger random image captures of the candidate from a webcam to keep check on malpractice or cheating, even on a low bandwidth. We have screencasts, so we can record the screen on all browser movement to track the candidate's activity throughout the exam. And we can do live proctoring. Live proctoring tip uh, keeps an eye on all the candidates' feet and also interacts with them when it is required. So we basically can say that uh, we can detect everything really. So the solution, would automatically detect the following suspicious activities, the 13 which are uh, listed here. So the student opening or switching to a different window, the webcam audio being disabled, exiting full screen mode, the student's face not being visible, or multiple faces in a video, or impersonation check, facial recognition of the student with some periodic snapshots, side conversations, whispers or noise is all detected, Genuine network issues are detected. So no more excuses. Oh, my network was weak. I could not, you know, uh, screen sharing or splitting screens being used. Multiple screens, dual monitors are detected. External USB or hardware is detected. Screen recording curves or any other foul play is uh, recognized. So really the online proctoring is really a complete solution to that. So the AI powered candidate and screen proctoring is really important feature of this platform. Um, and it, as I said, also it raises intelligent red flags. So for example, as I said, the dual face detection. So if there's somebody else in the video frame, if there is strange or irregular eye movement or eye contact deviation, multiple voices and, and trying to uh, navigate somewhere else. Um, the life proctor is also a very important feature because you can monitor and interact like in a real classroom. So you can monitor the students as they are writing their exams. Um, now, on a higher level of abstraction, you can manage the admissions also for your university. So you can manage all the applications, the payment gateways, the analytics, the management of the bulk emails which have to be uh, sent. Um, end-to-end -end admission exams, personality tests, aptitude tests, language tests, essays, video interviews, grading, merit generation, and much more. So, uh, of course, as you can see, we provide a one dashboard, one platform. So this means that we actually have to ensure the smoothest digital trans transition, as you can imagine. So we will help you to migrate from your current LMS, like Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, and many more, to our Edora platform. 
so we have a tech team which performs this transfer. We have complete backups. We uh, ensure uh, the migration in a short amount of time, in a week or so, and we have complete onboarding uh, of faculty and students through the videos and live sessions. So we definitely are very dedicated because we have a huge team of enthusiasts and, and, and the startup company here as well. And we actually want to support you uh, and from the faculty side uh, and also from the university administration side. So if you are a university or a school administrator and you want to be a part of this, that would be really nice uh, to, to get in, in touch with us. So if you are uh, interested, I encourage you to sign up uh, at edorer.com. Uh, I have, uh, you can see a screenshot of this webpage. Uh, it is still, uh, the, the site is about to launch uh, shortly. We have, a, as I said, a couple of universities and schools uh, already part of Edora uh, in different parts of the world. And we are now opening it up to the, to the world to actually uh, be part of that. Uh, and this is really our passion to make you part of this movement. So if you're interested, please do sign up uh, in, uh, in the program of adora.com. All right, so with that, uh, thanks very much for uh, your attention. Um, now I see that I have uh, plenty of questions in the chat. Um, I guess I should, um, I can move to the uh, questions right now. So, uh, yes, so the, uh, the lectures are all recorded and stored in Adora. So you can view, of course, the uh, recorded lectures next semester as well, uh, depending on how you would like to administer it. So how efficient is online proctoring? Well, I think it is super efficient compared to what is currently available uh, out there. Uh, since this platform was built by educators, we know exactly what we would like to have. So this is something really important to us. So I would say it's really uh, very efficient. How can we balance between privacy in exam monitoring? I think we found a very good uh, way to actually balance this privacy. Uh, and in, in the exam situation. You, you can see that uh, once you actually set up a, a, a uh, demo, for example. Yeah, so the integration of Adora with the systems that the university, uh, which what the university is already using, as I said, we have a support team helping you, discussing with you in advance, of course, how we do the transition from your current LMSs, et cetera, to Adora, uh, and we help you with that transition. So you're not alone with that transition. Um, and of course, you can see that the benefits then after this integration is done, that you have everything under one dashboard. So what are the current challenges faced by the educational systems in terms of switching between technologies and upgrading? I think, um, uh, you know, traditional universities have a, a, a challenge that they are really kind of locked into the current technologies and is extremely difficult for them to actually move out, outside their traditional mindset. Uh, and I think that the mindset problem is one of the fundamental problems. With Adora, uh, we definitely uh, help you to actually make that transition uh, to, uh, to that platform, which you can actually then use and you don't need to use all of these different LMSs out there then subsequently, and you don't need to use all of these Zooms and the Microsoft Teams and all of that. Yeah, the platform deals with the, the cheating part as I was ex uh, giving you some examples. Basically, this is exactly the, the proctoring part since we have uh, online uh, AI enabled uh, tools to help you. There are many, many different ways that actually can raise red flags for you as a faculty member, and you can exactly monitor. So there are many good features for that. Uh, it's uh, well, uh, 
the the pricing i would i would suggest that you get in touch with us uh, uh, with that email address provided here to actually create a demo or a setup for your university um, yeah that's basically the number of questions i have i have seen in the chat box i wanted to thank you very much for listening and i hope i was more or less in time for the lunch break Yes, uh, there's one more question. Can this platform be used for other online activities, online trainings, courses, etc.? Yes, it can be used and also on the mobile. Yes, it will also facilitate online presentations from students as well. Yes, it can also be used for activities, for example, conferences and workshops. There is no reason why it cannot be used for that as well. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. And if you are interested, get in touch with me. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for sharing the insights. I am sure everybody is delighted to have you and the insights are going to be helpful on a longer run. Thank you so much once again for being with us.